what is the measure of each interior angle of a regular pentagon? And then we'll have to approximate the area of the regular pentagon, given that the sides are six centimeters. All right, so let's look at part A. For part A, what I'm gonna do is segment the regular pentagon into five equal triangles. Now, a regular pentagon means all the sides are the same, so they subtend equal angles. So all of these angles are theta degrees. And we know when we go all the way around, that's 360 degrees. So if we can take 360 degrees and divide it by five, that'll be equal to each individual angle. All right, so when you do that, you actually get 72 degrees. So each angle here is 72 degrees. That's part A. Now for part B, they want us to approximate the area of this pentagon. Now the area of the pentagon, remember we segmented it into five equal triangles. So that would be five times the area of each individual triangle. And we know the area of a triangle is one half base times height. So this is the formula we're gonna use. Now, each side measures six centimeters. So if I look at this triangle here, the area is gonna be one half base times height. So we have five times one half, and we can see here the base of the triangle is six centimeters but we don't know what the height of that triangle is. Okay, so to find the height, what we'll do is we'll look at this triangle in a little more detail right here. So we know this angle here is 72 degrees. If we drop an altitude, the altitude will form this right triangle where we know this angle here is one half of the 72 degrees. One half of 72 degrees is 36 degrees. And we know the base is gonna measure three centimeters. And we want the actual height of that triangle there. So it looks like we can use tangent. We can say tangent of 36 degrees. Remember tangent is opposite over adjacent. So tangent of 36 is three over h, right? Cross multiplying h times tangent of 36 degrees equals three. And then dividing the height is actually equal to three over tangent of 36 degrees. All right, so we can use that here for the height of the triangle. That's three divided by tangent of 36 degrees. So five times the area of the triangle, five times the area of each triangle, where the base is six centimeters, and the height we just found to be three over tangent of 36 degrees. Now simplifying this, um, we can divide six by two and get a three there. So the area exactly equals five times three times three, which is 45, so 45 over tangent of 36, and that'll be measured in centimeters squared, or square centimeters. All right, so that's the exact value. Now, the problem wanted us to approximate that. We'll approximate that to one decimal place. So on a calculator, I get 61.9, so 61.9, square centimeters. And that's the answer I'll present.